welcome back to me doing a reaction thing to Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. Uh, I got it. I got it this time. Long ass title. I still don't even know what it means. A death March. Um, what exactly is a Death March? Especially in the context of this world. I don't know. But anyway, today's episode is titled The Crazy Princess That Started With a Death March. So I'm assuming we're probably going to delve into some character development for that little girl, that little vampire girl that we have been like alluded to have been foreshadowing of we met in the last episode. So I'm sure uh, Sato would rescue her from slavery. Um, I know, yeah. but um, so she's probably a crazy vampire princess. How did she become, uh, how, how did she get to where she is? You know what I'm saying? She's a princess and, and all. Did her family, her royalty, how did she lose all of this? So, um, contacts can wait. <laughs> no, the other thing too to discuss, like I did talk about how I don't want this show to be too very, uh, you know, one guy with a whole bunch of girls. Uh, be it that in the last episode, um, our hero Sato did rescue a few dudes, but I don't think they're going to be part of his party though. There was Jin and uh, Nido Ren, I think. I forgot his name. I don't think they're going to join his squad, um, let alone, I don't even know if he's going to adventure yet, right? Because it, it is just him at the moment with uh, the two little kitty doggy girls, Liza, right? And then there's uh, Cena, but I don't know if they're literally going to march eventually. It seems like they're still stuck in this one town. Maybe after today's events, maybe they go on this death march. I don't know. That, that's just my theory. <laughs> so, all right, without further ado, let's do it. Let's do the reaction. Uh, here we go. He bought both of the chalking. You know, why not? Why not buy girls? Arisa. And that's Lulu. He just has a squad full of women. Too much? Whoa. You're pretty much like, yo, I'm the master. You don't talk. I'm kidding. Are we l cuties? Wow. That's too much. <laughs> Is she really carrying them like that? Yeah, they're friggin' slaves. They didn't have... They have much options. Well, it's time to face. Ah! Okay. It's delicious. Grilled intestines? I don't know if I would ever want to eat something like that. Sweet. 
slave clothes, right? Yo, it's time to give them a wardrobe, dude. And one, he's gonna buy them outfits, but how does he know what their size is? Then again, he's pretty smart, so I don't know. Oh my god, he's just gonna feed everyone. The doggy talks! Wow. <laughs> How are you, Martha? Miss Martin Jones told me all about your adventures. It was quite a yarn. Your room is still in supplies, so you're welcome to let us have fun. And here's your money for your sweets. Yes. These are my friends. Well, they're both my friends. These are my friends. You're their owner. I'm sorry. I'm glad I wasn't talking to you. What's up? Take those two right away, please. But the rest of us will just have to keep them aside. Oh, Master, you are such a generous soul. Don't look so bad. You're like the defragments to the floor with those mean old spells. Now, it is all right by you. It is hoping we might use your shattered stable for the night. These girls need countless human lives while breaking the Oh. Uh, Though they will receive no medals for their display of courage, perhaps you can spare them a little mercy from the What is The hell is she doing? Oh, yes. That's an excellent point. The chef is chock full of food. Let us take a listen while we prepare for the banquet. I do hope I was not so nasty. Yeah. Did she like compel them or something? I don't know. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh no, are they serious? Are they nudists? Is that a thing here? It is. The cutters have a bit off of this. We'll get a cold blanket. It's okay, Mom, please. Oh, good. Our services. Our services. Um, are you gonna cry because you, you, you're what? Why is she crying? Well, it looks like he changed his mind. Because he got baby girl. He got her sleeping. Oh, what the fuck? Oh my god! Oh, my mind is telling me no, but my body is telling me yes. Wow. <laughs> now on, no more avoiding the subject. Tell me what you were doing, Arisa. I foresee how effective this is. I need to ask you one more time. What were you doing? I only wanted to service you, Master. You have my word. To service you, huh? Huh. Oh, come on! Let me be clearer than that! Don't be the woman I first laid eyes on you! She wanted to bang you? Wow. So when I didn't fall for you right away, you decided to brainwash me? Wow. That's not right. I understand. I was kidding. I was waiting for you to come call on me, but you fell asleep. That idea killed me. So I decided the next best thing was to call and tell you about your sleep. You were so naughty. Oops. Do you feel any press on your side of the house? Yeah, relax. A hot mess, yeah. Oh, she's just like him.
The second one? Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Who was the first? Wait. Are you saying only her grandpa? <laughs> the features stay the same. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a good question. I want to know that too. And the show's just going to skip over it. Great. Nice. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, good luck with that indeed. <laughs> well, it's not like she's your girl anyway. What? Wow. Smooth. Smooth. <laughs> that would be great. Give me your penis. Oh, wow. And that's how they got caught. Got it, got it. Because you would think she would use her psychic powers, but I guess maybe she was too distraught to do it. What's up with his eyes? Wow, interesting uh, to hear Arisa's story there about how she came into this world. She's just like Sato, even though she wasn't transported per se, she was reincarnated in, into this world. But she talked about how she used the same values and mentality that she got from being an actual human, right? And, and not in this world. And, and she was part of this kingdom and, you know, yay, great stuff. But then they were invaded, conquered, slaughtered. You name it, and then her demon showed up and blew shit up. Great, right? <laughs> but I wonder what all of that was about. I, I, it sucks that it was just kind of like glanced over in a way, but I feel like it's going to be 
extremely vital and important to this show. Who was this demon that, in a way, kind of saved her? You know, because if that demon didn't show up, it, it wouldn't have attacked uh, whatever people came and conquered the, the kingdom. Uh, who were these people who tried to conquer the kingdom, too? You know, uh, there's a lot of questions there. So, uh, duly noted, can't wait to figure out more. So, also, a part of me here uh, with Arisa. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure to, to like the character or not. Uh, I thought today's episode was great. I liked the, the character was kind of goofy and, you know... Sort of in the vein of like, hey, look, I'm your slave. Do whatever you feel like you must with me, you know. Um, on one hand, yeah, okay, cool. That that's your uh, a typical trope. And on the other hand, um, the advances were denied and whatever, like shenanigans, comedy, haha. <laughs> but at least now learning that Arisa and uh, Sato are both kind of semi uh, reincarnations, people who were transported here. Uh, the bigger picture would be with Sato with um, Even though he didn't show up here with a lot of power or anything, but he did have this meteor ability On top of that ability. He has all these acquired skills like God killer and whatnot And even Arisa told him did you meet God? So I mean hey, I'm also thinking about that title of God killer. I'm not saying that Sato killed God, but what if he did? So yeah, we're now learning about the reincarnations and people being transported here. Uh, seeing that Sato doesn't really meet any of them. Um, who is he? What is he? You know, he didn't die and was brought here because he wasn't brought here as a baby. And when he was transported into this world, he didn't really meet a god or anything. Um, yeah. Get questions. All right, that about does it for my video. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts or comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think of today's episode. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.